I just felt like a cool visual representation of, of where I'm trying to be. Like, yeah, I'm trying to be really, really eyes open, seeing things as they are and spreading this light and this love. Have that junk shooting out of my heart, you hear me? This video is about my goals and aspirations for the year of 2024 and this vision board that I've created for them, which I'll have up for the most of this video so you can see and check it out. Here's the short version. My vision board and goals for this year can largely be divided into three sections. One is physical, the second one is mental, and the third one is spiritual. In my estimation, they're all related in a circular fashion. And it is my hope with this year that I can live a more vibrant life, live more flexible, strong, enduring, and mobile physically, become more self-aware, grow, constantly challenge myself, and become a more fully actualized person as a consequence mentally and thirdly again become even more self-actualized self-realized and more at peace with myself with the world with the way things are with the past with the present with the future through a greater connection to my family to my kin to my ancestry and by extrapolation all of humanity and by envisioning and seeing more clearly the most beautiful future i can envision for myself and attracting that towards me and embarking on practices and habits that will allow me to do so in, in again, a, a beautiful and vibrant way. This is the more long version of what I just discussed. I made this vision board in early February when I was still trying to figure out exactly where I wanted my life to go. I didn't have a very concrete set of steps or a place I was going or a person I wanted to be or a career path per se, but I did have a very strong feeling and I've always had an artistic spirit and I felt that I could express that somehow. So I knew that I had to at least take care of my body, take care of my mind and my heart and take care of my, my spirit and my connection to things unseen and unexplainable. So I started off with those three as the general categories for my vision board and for my goals and whatnot for the year. I began by writing this big old list of stuff I wanted to get done. And it's always very exciting for me to write lists. It's like I'm writing the gifts I want for Christmas from Santa Claus. But it can also be so overwhelming and your awesome list can slowly turn into this to-do list, this never-ending to-do list. And each successive thing, instead of bringing you joy and inspiration, would just bring me dread and anxiety. The fact that there's all this shit I got to do and I only have this amount of time, yada, yada, yada. I also found that as I was creating this, some of the goals seem kind of arbitrary. Like, do I have to read exactly 50 books? What if I read 49? What if I read 51? What's so special about 50? So I felt that some of them, although I, I, I value the, the use in having a very measurable goal, to me it wasn't necessarily of service and I didn't think that having this number would motivate me this way or that way to read extra or to read less. So I started to move away from this big list idea and instead thought I'd create a vision board. If you don't know what a vision board is, it's just a board with a bunch of images of things that you really want to attract or you really want in your life or you want, you want your life to look like those things. Maybe your vision board for your dream home has all these different architects and designs that you like in your home or maybe your vision board for your new car is all these cars that you like and you know it's going to be something between all these different designs that you all that you resonate with and to me the value of it comes in that it's a real thing you can hang it up in your room like i have and you can look at it day in and day out and for me it kind of just feeds me it's just beautiful things i look at it and i'm like that's my north star so to speak I started creating this vision board. I used Pinterest to create it. I highly recommend it. Really sweet, really good algorithm I found in terms of finding five things I liked and it recommends other things I like. And I would just add really anything that appealed to me that looked like, oh yes, that's who I wanna be. You can see that I've got someone doing a handstand. That's one of my goals. I've got someone doing the front splits. That's one of my goals. I've got someone sitting in full Lotus. That Jones cool. That's one of my goals. I've got someone sprinting really fast. That's one of my goals too. But something about having them there instead of writing it down, it just seems more fluid and more organic to me. Because even within one of those, you know, like 
Am I holding the handstand for 30 seconds, for 60 seconds? I'm not sure yet. I don't even know how to do it at all. So I'll figure it out as I go, but I know that that's the energy, the vibe. Looking at that picture, how I feel when I look at that, that's how I wanna feel when I do this handstand. It might just be five seconds, it might be five minutes. We gonna see. For the mental aspect, I've got just some like silly photos that I don't know, just made me kind of laugh, like this brain doing a bench press or someone watering a brain. There's something very lighthearted and pithy about it, but that's how I think intelligence should be. Every time I've been so serious about how smart I am, I just come off as an asshole. We want to move with intelligence and know so much, but speak so simply and speak so honest and humbly. And I would like to think that the most intelligent person is also the most humble and is also the most soft-spoken and also knows how to listen more than they can talk. The same thing with these kind of meditative and cool art. There's not like a specific, like I want to glow and sh emanate light in the middle of a forest <laughs> for five minutes as my goal. You know, it's like, that's the feeling I want to embody. And as I walk through nature and become more connected to the earth, there's a feeling that I'm eliciting and, and, and something that no one else can see and know but me. And that can be kind of difficult in terms of measuring that and calling yourself successful or not. But I have faith that once I feel it, I'll know. And when I see that image, I get that feeling. I just felt like a cool visual representation of, of where I'm trying to be. Like, yeah, I'm trying to be really, really eyes open, seeing things as they are and spreading this light and this love. Have that junk shooting out of my heart. You heard me? You'll notice I got some money in that junk. I have never had a great relationship with money. I don't have the best discipline with money. I want to understand money better. I want to use it to fuel and fund the things I'm doing and really see it as a tool instead of something that I never have enough of. It's about using the flow of income to water beautiful ideas and have them manifest into things that can be of service to the world. I've got kids in the vision board as well. I've been an educator for the past four years. I taught in China, I taught in LA, I'm teaching right now in Taipei. I'm looking forward to a video about education in the future very soon. But the kids have taught me so much about being a performer, about being an artist, about being a human being, about being a man. And I know that their presence in my life right now to the form of teaching is so important. And I am so humbled each day and so grateful to be able to spend the time with kids. So yeah, they're in that zone too. You'll also see some other small things I've added. I threw in some jewels. They just seem kind of cool. I was reminded of Sonic the Hedgehog and how they're always looking for the emeralds. And I don't know, there's some symbolism there I've yet to unpack. And I have included some other things which you can see. I've got a room where there's a guy with all his canvases and I've been beginning to paint and want to paint more. And I, I see the future of myself as being a visionary artist among other things. So I put that in there as well. This has just been a short explanation of, of my vision board and my goals and aspirations. I'm trying to be as useful to you as possible and share as honestly as possible and as simply as possible and with as much enthusiasm as possible. So your feedback is highly appreciated. This is like video number seven and I'm trying to hit a hundred very soon because I heard the first 100 suck. So I want to just get them all out the way and continue to just pushing forward and, and, and spreading my message and spreading my heart and spreading my love uh, through the internet. And, and, and I know it's gonna lead somewhere. So that's all I got. Thanks so much. My name is Teddy Rykoff. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.